Hi all, welcome to this part in which I'll explain you recursion in C programming language. Recursion is heavily used in almost every programming language. It's very powerful to use, and many programming languages use recursion to deploy loops. Languages like Haskell. Which is a function which run in language less. They heavily depend on recursion. So let us try to compute factorial of a number. You know that factorial of 0 is 1, factorial of 1 is 1, factorial of 2 is 1 into 2, factorial of 3 is 1 into 2 into 3, that is 6, and so on. So I have written a simple piece of code in which I take a number as input and then I iterate over and multiply it with a plus one and so I run it. So you see that it asks me for a number, just give it one, so it is one, it's going to be two, then two, three, then six, four, and four. 5 into 20, 6, So I declared a function called factorial int and I am returning a long integer because factorial tend to be quite big. So I will take the same, I am going to write the same and I will Rewrite this and just make the function call. The way to write it is long int factorial int n. So, first we would like to check if n is 0. So, we use this statement, then I return 1. But note that you should take care while writing a cell. Most of the time n will not be 0. Most of the time n will be non-zero. So we don't want to do extra comparison. Therefore, first we should test if n is not equal to 0. Then return n multiplied by factorial n minus 1. This is a bit of optimization. So, I am assuming that input will be a positive number. It, it won't work with negative numbers. This algorithm will not work with negative numbers in an appropriate fashion. Let us examine this. What will happen if you call in this way? Suppose you pass value of n as 3. So here comes 3. It is not 0. So it will have 3 into factorial int of 2. At this moment, this will be invoked and return will wait for the return value. So now factorial will be received will be receiving a value of 2, a new stack frame will be created. See the flow. A main function we call factorial. Stack frame for factorial is created with value 3. Now a stack frame is created, another one with value 2. So it will have 2 into factorial 1. A new stack frame is created. That is factorial of 1, then factorial of 0. So now we are at factorial of 0 stack frame, so we return 1 here, right? So now frame will unwind, it will go to previous frame. So this will return 1 and you will hit here 1, that is the frame for value 1 when n is 1. So this will be 1 and factorial 0 has returned 1, so 1 into 1 is 1. Now this will again unwind and it will go to previous frame when n is equal to 2. And this will be 2 and factorial of 1 is 1 into 1, that is 
total of 2 and then it will go to stack 10 when n was 3. So now 3 into 2 that is 6. This is how it will work. Let's run it. Okay. I'm spelling factorial. Okay. So I give the value 7. Okay. So our logic is correct. This is all about your recursion. You can try solving two popular problems. One is known as Fibonacci series, another is known as Tower of Hanoi. Easy problems, both problems are very easy and I expect that you should be able to solve them easily. You can look up any textbook to find the problem or you can search on internet to find about Fibonacci series and uh, Tower of Hanoi. You will find later on when you learn more about programming and when you do more of programming you will see that recursion is a very powerful tool, it comes very handy, it's easy to implement. In this case our iterative solution is much shorter, right? But it will not be the case always. So that's it for now. See you in the next part. Till then, happy coding. Thanks.